Hello everybody, welcome to the, the boudoir of the Marchioness of Dorchester, no less. So I wanted to tell you today a little, um, a little review, I suppose, of Wattpad. Wattpad is a writing tool and a reading to app. It's an app. It's, I'm not a big reader, but I've, I really like the format of it. So I have recommended it to my mum, who is an avid reader. She's just recovering from hip surgery and she's getting, she bought eight books on Amazon yesterday. She was very excited. She, I think she's really got into um, Irvine Welsh, who's a crime writer. She loves her crime. Now, Wattpad is the, I just think the interface is so straightforward and so simple for us. And I'm using it as a writer rather than a reader. But I have looked at the reading facility. You can search your genres and you can follow the writers. And it's a really lovely community. It's very kind. Um, it seems to be really what I've been looking for for a very long time in terms of an interface that shows people what you do and also facilitates your writing. So as you probably know, I wrote the Book of Immersion about, I guess, about a year ago now. And I've really been struggling with how to get the internet to find it. And Wattpad is really working for me so far. And what you can do is you can add series. And because the Immersion is a series, the Book of Immersion is a series, it, and it's never going to be completed. I can't really see a day when I'm going to finish it because it deals with these questions, these coming-of-age questions, but also this question of AI and humanity. And, you know, is can AI ever be a sentient, sentient being? Can can humans ever be logical? And, it deal, you know, I mean, it, it's not a new idea. Stories are never... The, the basis of story ideas are, are never new, unfortunately, for writers. We have, there are only about seven different storylines, apparently. You know, the, these questions, the questions in the, at the onset are human questions. You, often things like discovery and, you know, coming of age is such a big one. Um, but I won't go into too much detail about what the book's about. Suffice to say that just the platform for me is working really, really well. So that I think there are eight up at the moment. I'm just about to put up chapter nine and it's all free. Um, whether or not, you know, at a later date, I'll compile everything into a book and put it on KDP, which is uh, the the Amazon version of uh, a library, an, uh, an e-library. I have no idea. I'm not sure if I'll do that. As an artist, a painter, a digital artist, somebody who's illustrating the book every day as I go along, I really like the idea of producing at some point in the future a book that has these illustrations as well. But, you know, we live in a different world. We live in a world where paper is expensive. We live in a world where hard copy is a, is becoming rarer. Um, certainly, eventually, I think it would be important to... Because because it's a multimedia book, you see. The Book of Immersion is multimedia. So it's, it's video, it's word, and it's sound. Does that work in a book? Well, you can't get sound in a book, but you can get art. You know, and perhaps later on, another time, another you know decade or something, I could do that. For the moment, Wattpad has proved to me in the last week that it's really working. So I've had more people read it on Wattpad than I've ever had a, on my actual blog, and the the blog's been going for a year. You know, so you just think, oh, okay, well that's interesting. Because you've got the right audience. And I was struggling yesterday with finding the right audience for, you know, the, the different things that I do. It, it's so hard. Because, you know, Instagram, for example. Oh, you know, there's no point in advertising a book on Instagram. The only thing you can really promote on Instagram is your body, in my opinion. Which is why it works so well for fashion. Nothing else matters to Instagram. Um, Facebook... I'm not sure what works on Facebook anymore. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't engage with my friends anymore because Facebook doesn't share my stuff because I'm a business. 
Um, you know, you've got all these sort of issues and problems, but Wattpad is just what it says on the tin. It is a book club, an online book club for writers and readers. So as a writer, you can add notes to your for your characterizations, which I, I'm going to use today. I mean, the thing is, I've already written 22 episodes. So at the moment, I'm just sort of updating everything. But I might put up a few today. I will. I will. I'm going to put up a few. Um, it's also, you know, you you tell people what it is it's a sci-fi adventure book it's a coming of age book it's a love story you know you, you include all this in your lovely descriptions and the the people who are there because they love to read they love to read love stories they love to read science fiction you know that they're, they're they're your audience they're ready you know they're ready for you which is something you, you you're not going to get on google for example i had a good moan about google yesterday um i'm I'm never sure what Google wants. It's such a wide thing, isn't it? And Google desperately tries to fit the the desire with the product. I mean, Google is about product. And, you know, you could argue that a book, I mean, it's a sort of product, but it's not really, is it? It's a work of bloody art, guys. It's a work of art. Um. So, anyway, I, I really wanted to just share the the wonders of Wattpad. Now, the, the best thing about it, I think, for me as a writer, is the organisation. So you put up your parts because it's a series. It works so well for a series. Absolutely brilliant. And what I envisage eventually after the 20... I mean, I'm, I'll probably get everything up in the next week and then I'll start doing, you know, a a series chapter a day sort of thing. But also I can go back and I can add the music. You can add videos on it. So at the top of your chapter, you have a video, you know, the YouTube video. It's all there. So it's all linked to my YouTube. It's absolutely fantastic, guys. Um, it's free. Of course it's free. The, the reason I wanted to do a series was to do a free series that brought people to the project, the Tale Teller Club. And if you didn't know, I, I was um, really lucky to get funding in 2020 for this whole Tale Teller Club project, which is an arts project, a multimedia arts project. It started off with a Domin artist who is in the storybook. You haven't met her yet, but she is in the storybook. Um, so I'm really excited about it, volume two. She's in volume two and everyone gets to meet her. So this whole thing was really started by the Futures Venture Foundation because they gave me a big uh, uh, arts grant, an arts award. And from there has spawned this entire book, this entire music catalogue, this entire design catalogue, you know, all the clothes, uh, all the merchandise. Um, now, every episode is linked to a song on the YouTube channel, all free linked to a t-shirt design they're not free you'd have to pay for them but you can watch the video i make little videos for the t-shirts so you can watch those which is quite exciting i think um so you know each story has something really you know a combination of things that that create this mood this i mean the skeptics among us might call that a brand but it's bigger than a brand, guys. It it envelops you. It's um. It it takes you to a world, another world, and it's a beautiful other world. And I hope, beyond hope, that you pop along and go and see it, go and read it. So it's the book of immersion. It's on Wattpad, but guys, it's also, of course, it's also on my. Um, website so that's that's pretty cool isn't it um yeah okay well I think that's about it for this morning so join me later on today in literature over at my website tale-teller.club or iservelearn.com or on my wattpad and um if you look up the book of immersion um but and my my tag my name tag is iservelearn um, I can't, I, I think, 
I'm Sonia de la Mare, FRSA, which of course is my real name, not my stage name. But if you have trouble finding me, message me on my website because there's a chat box I'm just making live and I've got a WhatsApp as well. And I'm going to create a WhatsApp group for fans of the Book of Immersion. Um, so you can contact me there on the phone number. So, you know, it's all going very, very, it's all getting very exciting, very exciting. Um, I mean, if I, you, you need to be a real person on my WhatsApp and I have a filter on there. And if it's businesses or spam, you won't get through. So you have to be a real person, but you can message and you can message on my website and you can sign up for free or sign up for the paid um, ver- you know, version of it, which is has just has all the adult content, but the free stuff is all you know, young adults, and Toddle Poddle, which is the kids' show, of course. So it, it's really something for everyone, and I do intend for this whole concept of the Tailored Club to have a little bit of a kickstart launch um, in the coming months, and I want everybody over Christmas to be able to read all the the book the at least volume one and who knows i may i may have started volume two actually um by then so how exciting i do hope you like book i hope you're a bookworm i hope you're somebody who can really let go of your um mental restrictive um chattels the chains rather you know i hope i hope you can free your mind and really get into it because i think that's I think that really takes you somewhere else in the Book of Immersion. So, anyway, enough waffle. I'll be back later on, no doubt. I'm doing lots and lots of podcasts today, lots and lots of writing, lots of new content on the Tale Tale Club website. And, yeah, what a wonderful world we live in um, for, for bookish people. It takes us away, does it not, from the realities of the hideousness of humanity and the awful things that are going on in the world today. So much love from Royal Clarence Marina and the boudoir and the four-post bed and me and Romeo, who's actually lying here asleep and hasn't made a peep so far. <laughs>